Hello everyone, how's it going? So I'm banking on no technical difficulties this week. We'll see how that works out, but that's what I'm hoping for. Am I live? Hello, there we go. Okay, well, <laughs> looks like already the uh, Warcraft screen isn't working, so that sucks. Uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. This time it's working perfectly, so that's good. How are you guys? Uh, I just realized I hit 15,000 subscribers recently, and I'm amazed. I can't believe that it just keeps going up and up and up. So thank you guys for joining my channel, for supporting it, and thanks for being here for this first public stream of Able Talk, where you can talk with Ablehawk. That slogan's probably not going to stick. So yeah, I'm just playing uh, the Death Sheep. Not sure if you guys have ever played this before. Um, but I, I had a lot of fun with it when it was uh, when Reign of Chaos came out and stuff. Um, it's kind of genius, really. They didn't have as many triggers back then, and so you use S and H to move back and forth, and really all that's doing is... Oh, come on, dang it. Anyway, all it's doing, if you notice down here at the bottom, is, uh... That was a waste. Is it's clicking S for stop and H for hold position. So if you watched any of my, uh, tutorials for map making and stuff, basically the trigger is going, the action is pressing one of those two buttons, and then it just moves it, you know, moves this paladin, um one spot to the left or right. And if you also notice, I'm not selecting this specific paladin. This paladin's actually like an enemy unit to me, which is kind of funny. But the camera's locked on him, and so it makes you think that that's your character or whatever. The real paladin is down on the mini-map, down at the bottom. Ooh, thanks for joining me so early, uh, Ibrick. Good to... Sorry that this isn't the uh, a coin bird. Well, I don't think I've played this far to have a coin bird. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me. Sorry I can't go any other time really. Like this is the only time that really works for me with my, you know, wife and kids and stuff. So now that the kids are in bed, I can stream. Um, but I am happy that some of you are willing to like sacrifice and stuff for hanging out with me. Hope it's fun. Um, yeah, so any any guys have any questions for me or anything that you'd like to see today? I was thinking of showing you guys some more Able maps and uh, possibly if anybody's interested playing some uh, oh, come on. Uh, playing a game on Battle.net possibly if anyone else is interested. My favorite map uh, do you mean map in like the campaign or custom map, able map? Um, I think my favorite, um, if, my, if it's my favorite map in the campaigns, I think it is uh, the Tomb of Sargeras in the Frozen Throne campaign. I. Uh, that one's always just been so amazing to me, how it's just like the biggest dungeon map ever, and each section is just amazing. Um, I really like how, uh, like, the whole mini quest with the orb of shadow is in that one. Uh, just the general depth of that level. I also like how, you know, you go through the dungeon, and then you f confront Illidan, and then it's collapsing, so you have to escape. Like, that's just such a cool formula for a map. Um, and, uh, it just kind of, like, I just really like Warcraft 2. Warcraft 2 is my first love, and so the Tomb of Sargeras plays a part in that, too. So that would have to be my favorite, uh, campaign. Am I excited for WoW Classic? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll play it anytime soon. I'd like to, but, like, I don't know. I, I, I just have a hard time, like, a it right now. Then again, like, I, I don't know why, but 
ever since I started making these quotes videos, I've been getting quite a bit more revenue on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have been sharing them more. If you have, thank you very much. But um, I, I don't know, maybe I'll have, maybe I do have enough, um, maybe I could start playing WoW Classic, I don't know. Would you guys be interested in watching me play WoW Classic? I know WoW isn't like, I don't know, I know there's lots of other streamers on there and stuff, but I don't know, that could be really fun. Um, my favorite uh, character that I played on, uh, when I back when I played WoW, when it was actual WoW Classic or whatever, was um, a troll mage. He was my favorite. His name was Thebus. Um, but my very first uh, classic um, character on WoW was a um, human paladin uh, named Abelhawk. Um, sadly, I didn't like him that much. I think I got him to like level 40 or something. I remember I got his mount. I think I got him to like level 50 or something, but paladins weren't that great on classic. They may not even be as good. I, I don't know. I, I just, paladins are not my play style. I liked Phoebus, the troll mage, better because I could just like blow things up and stuff. It was really fun, so. But yeah, like I, I definitely like the idea of WoW Classic because there's a lot of things that just, they, that they could not capture with uh, the th changes that they made to WoW and stuff, and so yeah, I'm I'm definitely excited about the idea. Is it out yet? I think it was out like yesterday or something, right? Wait, League TV, are you are you playing WoW Classic? I didn't know that you were into that. League TV is a personal friend of mine. In case any of you guys are wondering, welcome League TV. I noticed that you guys also have uh, upgraded icons because you guys have been members for so long, so congratulations on that. Oh, I forgot that there's like a special move on this. I need to do that if I get overwhelmed, like right now. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited for, uh, yeah, I'm excited for WoW Classic. Warcraft Reforged. Any love that Warcraft can get, honestly, is just awesome to me. I really hope eventually they remaster, or at the very least make available Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 1 for modern computers, because it's been too long since I've played those. Like, I have the CD for Battle.net, uh, Warcraft 2, but it is definitely um, kind of harder to play. Revoicing in Warcraft 3 Reforged. Yeah, at first I was a little upset about that, um, but at the same time, if you think about it, like, it would kind of be weird to have, like, brand new graphics but have everything sound the same. And so what I'm hoping is they have, like, um, they have, like, uh, an option setting in Warcraft 3 Reforged to change the graphics back and forth and the voices back and forth. I think that would be really cool. Uh, so that you could kind of enjoy Warcraft 3 however you liked. Um, and I think it would just be kind of fun to have a fresh look at Warcraft 3 with the voices as well, you know? Have Laura Bailey doing Jaina's voice and I uh, can't remember who does Arthas's voice. Um, but I, I think that would be... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of sheep. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I'm, I have mixed feelings about the revoicing because I, I definitely agree. On one hand, you know, kind of sucks to take that away, especially since Arthas' voice was changed like right after Warcraft 3 anyway. Um, apparently they were not offering the original voice actor hardly any money to reprise his vo his voice role in Warcraft, World of Warcraft, so that's kind of a shame. But, yeah, and also a good reason to have um, the revoicing is it'll bring more people into the game. Uh, you know, if people grew up playing WoW and, uh, uh, you know, they didn't have, um, they didn't grow up with it like some of us did, um, you know, it'll it'll bring them into Warcraft 3 because they can see, you know, they, they can kind of have the voices they're familiar with so they know who's who uh, and then have the new graphics to go with it but play the same uh, storyline and everything like that. So, yeah, it's a good question. And like I said, I'm undecided. We'll see kind of how it goes. At least we'll have, like, the same Uther voice, Kel'Thuzad, 
they're the same boys. Um, you know, a lot of them haven't changed over time. Chris Metz and obviously Thrall. Uh, be kind of fun if they just re-recorded re their lines just so they'd sound slightly different, you know? Even those ones with the same voices, I think that'd be fun. Oh my gosh, that was like a swarm of Easter eggs rolling towards me. What kind of videos would I make for Reforged? It's a good question, and you guys could definitely shape uh, that for me. Like, if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see... Um, Oh no, I'm out of special effects. Ah! Okay, dang it. Anyway, um, if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see in uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged, I'm all ears. I definitely want to go through and look for, you know, Easter eggs, obviously. I'm probably going to make, like, maybe a video per level and just, you know, pick it apart, look really close, see if the same um, Easter eggs that are on uh, Warcraft 3 Classic are on... Um, you know, the same one for Reforged, who knows. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, I'd, I'd obviously like to look at the new world editor if they change stuff like that. See, you know, if they make it a little bit easier to... Oh, and he's down. But yeah. Anyway, I'm really excited for Warcraft 3 Reforged, and I hope if, you know, if they still release it the time that they thought they would, which is around, um, I don't know, they, they announced it in November and said like a year or something, right? Um, it's amazing that they haven't said anything else about it. The only thing that they've done is like, um, announced like the pictures of the Night Elves on the website, and so, I don't know, I'd love to hear more about it and stuff, but... Anyway, yeah, you're right, uh, Hazmati. They, um, they are definitely keeping the gameplay the same, which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I'm glad that they're not touching that at all. Uh, they are going to change the maps quite a bit if it's anything like... Um, if it's anything like the culling. If you guys saw the gameplay video for that, they changed that quite a bit. I mean, I, I get that they needed to like have the iconic opening gates of um, the opening gates of uh, what's it called? Strathholm uh, for war for wild players to recognize and stuff but I hate how they like rotated the map so that like you come in from the bottom that just seems weird like coming in from the corner was always how it worked and everything so anyway that's my uh, that's my opinion so who knows Model and portrait comparisons. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I definitely like that. I, I feel like a lot of people are going to do that already, um, but I could maybe put my own twist on it. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> Silk Song. Yeah, I'm really excited about Silk Song as well. If any of you guys haven't played Hollow Knight, um, it's an amazing game, and uh, yeah, a sequel's coming up for that as well. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and play some Able maps, shall we? So I'm pretty sure I've highlighted most of the Able maps that are like classic ones. Um, but these are some of my brothers. Let me see if there are any that ring a bell. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Let's look at this. Our town is under sea. <laughs> Definitely unfinished, isn't it? What the crap? <laughs> it's just like a paladin whacking away at those. That's funny. Okay, so I'm guessing this isn't supposed to be a melee map. It's supposed to be like an RPG with Arthas here. I'm just going to take a look around. I'm guessing that he just made this map and it, the layout looks kind of cool. Oh, I bet you anything there's a hill under there. I think that was before we figured out how to raise the bridges, so... Kind of funny. Hmm, beacons. Looks like there's a swamp of some kind. This kind of reminds me of, uh... That Dante map that we made in my tutorial. Oh. Some kind of a fountain waterfall there. Yeah, he's got, like, just different... Whoa, those trees are huge. 
And you just got different areas like the forest and the swamp and the some kind of a temple. So <laughs> anyway, it's kind of cool. Um. Anyway, we might be able to start going on to like the fun, um, like more modern ones that I've made in the past, just more recent years and stuff. Have I ever played Dota? No, I've not played Dota. Um, I've played League of Legends a little bit, and I really like Heroes of the Storm. But I've never played the actual original Dota. Oh, <laughs> this one's funny. Let's play Jail of the Tubbies. So I don't know if anybody remembers Teletubbies, but my brother and I made this map where, like, your name is Jailman. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway, you're stuck. You were like imprisoned by Teletubbies, and so these are like red Teletubbies, apparently. They don't do anything though, so I don't really get the how they imprisoned me or whatever. One thing I was like, uh, like, pretty proud of though is that like each Teletubby, um, like bursts in their own color, so like the the red ones have red blood and the green ones have green blood, and purple ones have uh, purple like undead blood, that sort of thing. That's why this guy has siege damage, so that they'll explode when he kills me. I'm not gonna play this one too much, but like if, if I remember right, the boss fight is has some cool like triggers or whatever. Warcraft books. Um, I actually have one called, uh, I think it might be War of the Ancients or something. Um, I can't really get into it. It's just some, like, you know, post-cataclysm stuff that I'm just not really interested. Uh, however, you did mention Lord of the Clans, uh, Faven. I did read Lord of the Clans a little bit. There's Poe. Um, and I, I, I think I would like one of those, um, books better, where it's like, you know, actual pre-Warcraft 3 lore and stuff, so, I don't know, I'll, gi I'll give those a try and stuff, but, I don't know, it's, it's definitely weird to, to read, like, dialogue of the heroes in Warcraft and stuff. Like, I'm not, I don't know, it's definitely not the type of reading I'm used to, so, yeah, I've never actually read a novel, however, my, uh, oh yeah, the Lord of Clans game, I wish that they had, oh yeah, see, check that out, I was pretty proud of that, um, what's the next one, yellow, alright, let's do one more, we'll just, while we're chatting and stuff, anyway, um, what was what were you saying? Uh, oh yeah, the Lord of the Clans game. If you guys didn't know, Blizzard was going to make a Lord of the Clans game called, uh, or it's called Lord of the Clans, and um, it was about Thrall and like his escape from Durnhold, how he became Lord of the Clans, like the actual war chief. It was like an intermediary game between this and. Um, Warcraft 3 and Warcraft 2, like, you know, because, I mean, if you think about it, you start Warcraft 3 and Thrall is just there, like, he's already war chief and he's, like, freeing orcs from internment camps and whatnot. Oh, they don't have green or yellow blood, that's disappointing. thought that I had fixed that, but oh well, the boss is probably right. Anyway, and it was like a point-and-click game like King's Quest, and there's videos of it online and stuff, and it looks, I mean, they had the, almost the whole game planned out, and it was amazing to me that like they had done so much work and then just canceled it but that's blizzard for you like if they don't do something right they won't do it at all like they're they're kind of inspiring that way um so anyway but i i kind of wish that they would have released it just for free or something because lord of the clans was it looked like a pretty cool game it looked silly though like definitely cartoony for warcraft even by Warcraft standards. I mean, Warcraft's kind of cartoony, but anyway, look it up. Lord of the Clans is pretty cool. Um, so if I remember right... Okay, yeah, see, that's the color of blood I should have done. Like yellow. Alright, seen enough of that one. Uh, oh, anyway, about his ability. It was just attack ground because he was doing siege damage or whatever. Um, or not siege damage. I think I did, like... 
area of effect missile, kind of like a catapult or something. Anyway, it glitches and crashes the game because he's not set up to be a siege weapon like that. So, um, anyway, any other questions? Rise of the Horde, conflict between orcs and Draenei. Okay, that could be interesting. Yeah, maybe I'll look into that. Yeah, I, I've seen that playthrough, Hasmadi. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's kind of a cool, uh, it's kind of a cool playthrough. But yeah, all right. Let's see here. So, able maps. Let's look at some of my more modern ones. Uh, I don't know if you watched one of my earlier videos, but Alarad was like a um, blade master or whatever, and this was. Oh, this was just like an ability test, so this might be kind of fun. Um, this is when I finally figured out how to like lock in the race, which is something that's important. <laughs> okay, so he's got Eviscerate. Ooh, I even did custom... Uh, uh, custom... What's it called? Hotkeys and stuff. Hamstring, huh? That doesn't make sense. I'm guessing this is based on maybe like the Orb of Lightning where it has a chance of proccing, and then it would... I don't know why that's slow though, that's weird. Okay, so Eviscerate. Pretty cool. It's kind of funny because I think I subconsciously made a few of these in um, that Dante level. And then Blade Whirl, I think is just like a War Stomp. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Cool use of his ability. What is this? A poultice? Oh, for healing and then a heavy net. Kind of cool that they. I kind of wonder why they don't have net items on Warcraft 3. Kind of interesting. What's in here? Oh, cool. A wolf. It's an NPC? Interesting. Wonder if I. Are there any, like, actually powerful. Oh, here's one. Stuns the target, huh? Interesting. Hmm, they're all pigs. Cool. Deathwing. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, they just looked... I don't know. They just kind of looked silly. Um... I can't remember if I watched as far as Death, Deathwing, but I remember, wasn't he like a green dragon with black armor or something? I don't know. Uh-oh, it doesn't look like he's going to follow me anymore. That's definitely a glitch. <laughs> and Poultice is probably just like a... Yeah, it's just a healing potion. Anyway, some kind of cool mechanics for abilities, I guess. All right, what else do we got? Oh, this was like a... I don't know if... I can't remember if this was based on a map I saw in StarCraft or what, but... Do you guys remember those maps where like it just constantly sends enemies against your enemy and you can upgrade them or something? It seems like that was popular in StarCraft days, but I was making one based on my... I made some like cards when I was, you can look it up on my blog, but they're called battle cards, and they're kind of like Pokemon cards, but they were fantasy or whatever, and it was like in the world of Battalia, and so I think I made some of the cards on that one. Anyway, it's not, it's a parody of grammar errors, because I'm an editor. I always hate when people do apostrophe S for plural. Never apostrophe S for plural. What is this? Might as well check it out. Is it worth playing WoW for the lore? Um, that's a good question. I think... If you're invested in it, because it takes a while to get to like the deep lore in WoW. In WoW. Like it, when you first start out, it's just really local problems and stuff. And they have like little mentions of of stuff from previous games and stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, but overall, like, it's only, like, the later stuff where you find, like, Ragnaros and, like, do raids and stuff that you actually find out lore stuff. And so, I don't know. That's that's a hard, uh, that's a hard question to answer, though. Um, 
So this level is actually pretty impressive now that I'm looking at it. Because look, uh, Medivh looks like he's got a hero glow, which is pretty cool. So he's a wizard. I guess this is where I was just going to make like a specific roster of D&D-like specialization heroes. So we got a cleric, um, a warlock. Does he have any? Oh, he's just a lich. That's funny. Let's see if they have the same voices. Oh, okay. I actually picked their voices. <laughs> Sorcerer's voice. That's pretty funny for the Beastmaster. I like that. Obviously, the cow jokes don't make sense, but that kind of fits him. And we got a knight. And a hunter. And a rogue. Oh, this is the only one that I um, have. So, we got ensnare. Kind of weird for a rogue now that I think about it. 10% to dodge, 10% to crit. And then stealth is like in WoW. Instead of, uh, I think it's just a reverse speed um, wind walk. But yeah, let's try it out. Yeah, see, so you move slowly when you're stealthed instead of fast. That's kind of cool. And then we got Venom Strike. And of course, we don't have any. Do we have any target practice or anything to use these against? Anyway, Venom Strike is basically like Shadow Strike. I'm guessing that enemies are supposed to spawn there, but... And then Phantom Knives. Hey, he's even got an animation for that. It's pretty cool. And then Assassinate is you instantly kill, so... I'm guessing that just has a high <laughs> cooldown or something. Anyway. My favorite uh, hero in Warcraft 3. Um... That's a good question. I haven't played just like straight Warcraft 3 for quite some time. Oh, he's a bard? That's funny. I wonder what plans I had for him. I hadn't even played Warcraft or D&D at the time, so I didn't know much about bards. Anyway, let me see. You got your paladin. So for humans. My favorite race is... Well, undead, I think, is the funnest race, but I'm best at orcs, and so I think my favorite orc hero is probably <sighs> this is a tough year. I think probably the Farseer. I really liked Thrall. I don't I don't much like the like personality of the Farseer, so I like Thrall better as one, but I just really like Chain Lightning and it's fun to summon spirit wolves and Farsight's kinda dumb obviously and Earthquake's not that great, but I'd say Farseer is probably my favorite orc hero. My favorite human hero is probably Mountain King. He's pretty fun. Undead hero, I'd have to go with the Lich, maybe. I feel like all the undead heroes are fun, though. Like, all of them. Those are really fun. And the Night Elves, I never played Night Elves much, but I'd say maybe the Keeper of the Grove. Yes, I did play Skyrim. Um, I, it's okay, but I, I really love Oblivion more. I'm not sure why, but like, I don't know. I've, every time I play Skyrim, I kind of get bored after a while, but Oblivion, I could, I could play that for days. Since I played Terraria. Oh, a live stream of me playing Terraria, huh? Yeah, if you guys would be interested in that. I, I always play Terraria with my brother, and uh, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll have him uh, stream with me or something. We can play Terraria. That could be fun. Because um, yeah, I love Terraria. I, I think I've played. I think I've logged more hours into Terraria than any other game. Just because every time they come up with an update, I start all over again, and it's so fun to just rise from being like barely able to like fight off slimes to be just like godlike with like wings and like legendary weapons that are made from like sun shards and stuff like that's such a fun game like that um let's see oh this is a weird level <laughs> so i had a really good idea for this and i wish it would have worked but i think it's just over my head basically what i wanted to make was a game where you managed a human body and like you had to manage like happiness and overall health 
and you had to fight against like bacteria and parasites and stuff and your technologies that you could research are like um like you could have like glands that research certain hormones and stuff like it was super scientific and really like technical and stuff but and like the ultimate goal was to die of old age as opposed to other stuff so like just stay alive as long as you can but I mean let's open it and see how it works but like I mean it was yeah look at this it's a never-ending battle survives many ways as dangerous as you can end by carefully trying to balance your various biological systems circulatory with like blood um, yeah make sure the vessels aren't blocked or damaged uh, digestive system the mouth generates food that slowly moves down the intestinal tract harvest as many nutrients as possible from it before it's excreted that's interesting <laughs> endocrine system make sure you defend against the constant germ attacks use your hormone abilities wisely so yeah this is weird so yeah male or female Any, let's see here uh, I'll do male just arbitrarily so yeah it zooms into his body <laughs> And then here is, oh, check it out, yeah, see a heartbeat sound. And obviously everything's symbolic. I'm not going to, like, make actual, you know, heart models and stuff. But, like, see, this here's the heart. It's kind of cool, though. It's, like, got that heartbeat or whatever. And I'm guessing this is all the blood flow. And then farms or arteries. What's this? Oh, a lymph node. <laughs> I can't believe this. How much did I have to research for this? This is a fountain of health. That's weird. I'm guessing I forgot to change it to mouth. Uh, and then these are eyes. I can't remember if like one of them you can get eye infection or something. Here's the brain. Obviously the most important thing. Got arteries in your brain. Um, oh, those are lungs. I get it with the blimp and stuff. That's funny. And then there's something to do with like... So I'm guessing the, the food goes down here into your stomach. Oh, gross. <laughs> That's funny. And these are enzymes. Wow. Digest, and then it harvests nutrients from food. So I wish I had a debug thing on this because it doesn't seem to be working that well. But yeah, so you can make more enzymes in the stomach. And you basically just have to digest as many nutrients as you can before it goes to this void of... Uh, you know, basically your anus down there. And I have no idea if I was going to go as far as doing, like, I don't know, puberty and weird stuff like that. But digits, that's kind of funny. I don't know what I was thinking about that either. Anyway, so look. See, so you got skin cells. Oh, that's weird to see flesh-colored walls like that. You got skin cells. And then up here, I don't know what these are. Oh, bone. Okay. Man, this is... Yeah, I can tell. I can see now why I didn't, like... Um, I didn't even um, get very far on this at all. I think I have a huge document somewhere where I have all the stuff mapped out, but I barely even got any far at all on this because this is ridiculously complicated. Anyway, pretty good, um, pretty good deal, I guess. Idea, I mean. All right, so that's biodefensionum. Probably, I don't know, some Latin word that I came up with. Corridor is a board game I made. Um, and I don't know how well I recreated it, but most of these are really good. And so yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, cool. So we got kind of cool terraining, like a haunted house area. Ooh, that, that's exciting. Um, it's funny. His name is Izvoli, which is a, it's just something that they some of the units on Age of Mythology say. So that's kind of funny. Iron ore, flame essence, frost essence. All right, cool. So if I move the ore to forge, oh, that's cool. So now I can craft. No items to craft. Except it crafted a dagger, so that's kind of funny. So I have a dagger. 
cool, low damage but plus 40 attack speed. So it reduces my attack, but it increases my attack speed, I guess. It's invulnerable. Uh, apparently you can enchant weapons with these ice damage and stuff. Eh, let's try making a fire dagger. Oh boy. Is it crafting them now? Hmm. Well, glitches are to be expected, I guess. What is my favorite character lore-wise? Um, I would say Medivh, probably. Um, ooh. Hey, look at this. It's like a, it's like a uh, flashlight, except I, I feel like it should be like locked on him, because that's kind of weird to look around like that, but I kind of like that. Ooh, adamant ore, which is epic. Um, anyway, I'd say, yeah, there's Medivh, but there's also, like, one more character that I, I really like, and I can't, I don't know, my mind's blanking right now, because I, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably say Medivh, though. I like that darkness effect. Dang it, why can't I drop those? I wanted to try this other ore. I'm going to restart this one real quick. Malganus and Gromash, huh? Okay, I'm going to go see if I can craft that other ore. Oh, Cadgar is another one that I, I really like. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I, I know that I really liked... Uh, I know I really liked Cadgar in... Um, uh, like, Warcraft 2 and stuff, and so I always just thought he was really cool for whatever reason. Okay, that's weird. When it does do it right, it says it can't, but it does. And then... Guess I don't have anything for Admet Mithril. Well, that's a shame. Anyway, kind of a cool idea. I like the way I have that circle there and stuff. Uh, that map is just called Corridor. I have another one. I, I tried to make it so many times, and it's really like sad how many times I I so wanted to capture this game in video game form. Tried to be a hero. You broke into the Dungeon Master's throne room ready to fight, but you weren't prepared for his power. He drained you of your powers, your experience, and hurled you into the depths of his dungeon. Oh, now you can hear my voice acting. Oh, that was actually pretty good uh, cinematography, like you fell in a bed of hay. Oh, is he dead? Nope, he's alive. Not sure what the heck that is. I wonder if that's supposed to be invisible. Okay. Oh, I forgot how far I got on this level because if you notice down there, um, I think I... so. Here's a little background on Corridor. It's a board game I made where you, um... Basically, it's a tile game, kind of like uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill, if you've ever played that. But, like, you, you know, you draw a tile and then connect it, and then it randomizes the dungeon. So I think I actually randomized this dungeon and with tiles and then rebuilt it, so that's kind of cool. Can I, like, go to other places? Come on, really? That's as far as I got. There's even an enemy in there, but I can't find it. Oh, there he is. Well, that's disappointing, but... Some effort was put into that. I agree that Kill Jaden and Archimon have the best models. I think they look the coolest in Warcraft 3. I think they look really cool. Uh, they're going to look amazing in Warcraft Reforged, I bet. 
Except I don't like how Kill Jaden got wings later. I feel like that was too... That was too cliche with demons. I think he looked fine without them, so... If I were to choose Terraria or Minecraft, huh? Um, probably Terraria. Minecraft's fine, but I feel like... And, and I really like how it's 3D and how you can, like, you know, the scope of building is really cool on Minecraft. But I really don't like how the creators keep adding these just, like, random rocks. It's like diorite and andesite. It's like, who cares about those rocks? Like, make, make actually good stuff that's, like, fun to play with, you know? Like, make quests in the game or NPCs, I don't know. Terraria, I just feel like, is so much more adventure-like, you know? Like, you can... You can you have these NPCs. It's it's almost like you're the guardian of the town, and like more people move to the town, and you protect them from monsters. And you have all these places that you, like things you have to do in order. And in Minecraft, it's just like you kind of just go do whatever you want. So, oh, here's another crafting test. Let's see if I perfect it a little better in this map. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about this song. I haven't listened to this song for years. This reminds me of, like, high school. This is weird. Alright, so we got wooden shaft, metal pike, flat blade, and leather and hide. So, I'm guessing that there's just, like... Oops. Dang, that's not what I meant. Sorry. Let's try this again. Can I turn the music off? Oh gosh, okay. We'll turn it off for now. That song's great, but it's gonna get kind of annoying really fast. Okay, so basically I came up with a matrix of materials. I came up with woven cloth, stone weight, sharp spikes, extension, jewel charm, round plate, sh wooden shaft, metal pike, flat blade, and leather hide. So, and then I just made like a matrix and then everything that you can make when you combine them. So, down here if we do a wooden shaft and a metal pike, um, and then push the craft button, or lever, or whatever, throws them in the pit, combines them together, and makes them into a pointed spear. Cool. Um, let's try... Uh, okay, we got the flat blade and leather hide. Let's just get a couple more of those and try a different combination. Let's try shaft and flat blade. Let's see what it makes. I just like how it throws them in there like that. That was pretty clever. An axe, okay, makes sense. I guess I tried to be vague enough with each one. Oh, and then they just have like arbitrary abilities or whatever. Let's try leather hide and metal pike. Does that do anything? It does. What does it make? Great sword. All right, all right. I'm getting it. Cool. I'm guessing I made all of the combinations between these ones, and then I just didn't make these ones yet. I uh, wonder if you can do two of the same to make like a, you know, like a long bow staff or something like that. It can be interesting. Hey, kind of cool. All right, that's like an enchanted magic one or whatever. Anyway, you can do some cool stuff in the map editor. Um, oh, good call on the copyright. Yeah, dang it, it's probably going to find that now. I, I don't get in trouble, but it like demonetizes and stuff, which is kind of annoying. So, yeah, that's a good point on that. It's a good song, though. Oops. No. Yeah, one of my teachers in high school, I think, played that song when we played, like, mini games like golf and stuff. Like, just in class, like, he'd play that song. It was pretty funny. Weather vest. Anyway, so yeah, this is a pretty cool um, crafting simulator thing. Austin was here. Huh. Classic. This could be a good one for me to, like, share online with you guys and see what you guys want to make with it. It's a pretty good one. 
Um, my face is 50% forehead. You're right. I need to probably rearrange that webcam, huh? You know what? I don't care. Look at the game, not in my face. <laughs> um, okay, this one is called Dragon World. Okay, this is another one, and I hope you guys aren't hoping to find, like, uh, a level that's, like, completely finished, because I never finished my projects. I was so into these ideas, and I remember, like, mowing lawns in the summer and thinking about these games, like, all day and getting home and working on them, and then I'd just get bored and stop, so... All right, so we choose our dragon. Obviously, the only one that's here is a ruby dragon, but there's presumably going to be other colors as well. And then it's got like rolls and junk. So it hatches, hatching. Oh, there we go. So we got Norbert. <laughs> I think I got like a bunch of dragon names from uh, like media and stuff like Trogdor and I can't remember what the dragon is on uh, Aragon or whatever. Maybe it's actually called Aragon, but anyway, so the way this works is, yeah, you start out as a whelp and you eat sheep. So yeah, devour. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat a sheep. And yeah, we got Digest it, and I eat that one. What if I can eat a pig? Oh yeah, and it starts out with like the voice of a skink, and then it gets like progressively more. I'm gonna just try attacking, see what it does. Oh yeah, see, so he just has like a really close range attack. Interesting. And the idea behind this that I thought was kind of cool as well is, like, see, there's a broken bridge here, and you can just, like, hover. You can't fly yet, so you have to stay here until you grow up, and then you, uh... And then you become a drake that can fly, and then you can, like, fly over the river and stuff like that. Let's see if I can eat a pig. Maybe it, uh... Maybe it gives me more nutrients? Ooh, okay, cool. So that actually heals me when I eat a pig. That's neat. Oh, there's a bear. Probably don't want to fight that. I'll try. Oh, yeah, this thing is not that powerful. Fire breath. Your breath can ignite buildings and crops into flames. Cool. This is kind of ridiculous. I should have made him more powerful. Oh, he can bash it once in a while, though. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to win that. Run away. I mean, flap away slowly. There was a game kind of like this when I first started playing Warcraft 3, and I wish I could find it. You were a blue dragon, I remember that, and you were in, like, an ice area. But it had really cool music, and you had to, like... I think that's where I got the idea for this. You had to eat sheep, and then that leveled you up. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Like, let me know. It was really old though, and there's like thousands of maps out there, so probably not, you know, anything that's gonna. Oh, yeah, cool, it heals me. I like that. Okay, let's keep eating. Oh, I'm gonna go burn and eat that village. Oh, we got some farmers. Actually, they're just rogues and assassins. Yeah, I want to light this on fire, though. Oh, come on, it's not... Oh, it just disappears, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really have a, any animation to it. Oh, gosh, run for your life. Am I going to die from poison? Leave me alone, man. I didn't even burn your cottage down. Well, I hope that pigs regenerate because I need help badly. I don't know what that quest is. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cheat. 
because I really want to see what happens here and I don't want to die. Ooh, an acorn. Oh no, you made me burn the sheep. Great, now it's probably not possible anymore. So an acorn, you swallow it and it spell it can be used as a base for a fire projectile attack. Hmm. So does that just mean... Ha, <laughs> I like it. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll go see if any sheep regenerate after they die or something, but I think I messed up. Oh, there's one. Okay, I need three more? What's in the forest? Like a Easter egg? Did I make an Easter egg in my own? There's an abandoned campsite of some kind. Oh, interesting. So this is a way to get off across the river. Anyway, that's what I'm all about in this game is like really good ideas, but never enough time or basically never enough time to make them a reality. I guess maybe I'd have enough time now, but like nowadays, since I made all these when I was in like high school and college and stuff, but now that I have my evenings free, I don't know, maybe I should make a, maybe I should work on a full-fledged map sometime, who knows. Okay, one, come on, there's got to be two more. Surely I made the sheep regenerate once they died, didn't I? All right, let's start over. Anyway, I had this, I have, probably have a whole document somewhere planning this out, but like the different dragons have like different uh, abilities, you know, like green ones or maybe poisonous or something. Or one of them has longer range, I don't know. All right, let's just try and do the sheep this time. I think he missed. You'd love to see me and my brother battle in Warcraft 3, huh? Neither of us are that good at actually playing, but I don't know. It could be pretty fun. You know what I think would be fun is like a co-op campaign in Warcraft 3. They have some co-op uh, maps in Starcraft 2, and I think that'd be so much fun in Warcraft 3. I don't know what the storyline would be, but that'd be pretty fun. Okay, thanks, Faven. We'll see you later. Day of the Dragon, uh, maybe. That sounds a little bit too Warcrafty, though. I'm pretty sure that the map that I played was like it had nothing to do with Warcraft lore. Like you were just a blue dragon in Northrend for whatever reason, and. He had to grow up or something. I can't remember, but I don't know. I could look that up, but that sounds like it's more about, like, Deathwing or, you know, stuff like that, so. Alright, give me that sheep. Okay. Got him, and got him. Alright, now let's see if I can eat these other sheep without destroying them. Nope, nope, come on. Oh, seriously? Come on, man. Oh, now his name's Fafnir. From Beowulf, I believe. Custom maps of Warcraft 3 campaigns? That's true. I'm sure somebody's made something really cool that fits the idea of like a co-op campaign or something. Or at least like a co-op level. There's a really fun one I remember playing. I think one of my favorite custom maps I ever played was like a Final Fantasy remake map or something, but it had like just had a, really, a lot of really fun elements to it. I didn't I'm not, I've never been into Final Fantasy that much. Like like I like Final Fantasy gameplay, but I feel like the um the lore is pretty weird. I mean, like is it medieval or is it like steampunk or you know I, I never could tell with Final Fantasy and 
I don't know. It was hard to get into for that reason. Eat him through the fence. Yes. Okay, come on. Gotta get that last sheep out. I wanna see what happens. Oh, come on, eat him through the fence. Ah! Move, sheep. Lame. Mobile Terraria got updated? I can't imagine playing Terraria on mobile. Like, the controls are kind of complex enough as it is. That, man, playing on mobile would be crazy. Then again, they made mobile RuneScape work really well, so I was really impressed with that. There we go, okay. Uh, is the quest gonna be done? Please tell me I actually did the quest requirements. Ah! Dang it, Abel. Curse you past Abel and your laziness. <sighs> well, you get the idea. You level up and you get grow up and whatnot. Uh, I have a very strong feeling that this is very unfinished, but let's give it a try anyway. Okay, what is this? So apparently you have access to all the heroes in the game, but why? What's the premise? Hurry up, we're not playing for real here. Warriors of the night, assemble. Okay, I don't get this. I, I'm guessing, I think what I thought to do was like make all the abilities super powerful. Like, I don't know, maybe the scout was like a owl that could shoot lightning, or maybe the searing arrows exploded like burning oil catapults, and Starfall maybe was like immolation or something where you could move while it was on and it would make stars fall everywhere while you're moving. I don't know, but that one didn't get much farther than just making the map, which is sad. Frank's quest. Oh, has any, have any of you played, this is probably a long shot, but there's a Steam game that I played years ago called like Hero of Ragnarok or something where you're like a woman and you and it's like quest for glory I bet this is taken exactly from that game they say many tales from cold come from cold winters this is one of those tales so yeah Sigrid I think this is like a copy of Hero of Ragnarok or something looked like you've been robbed what's your name I don't remember well this amulet of yours says Frampf on it does that ring your bell yes that sounds right I am Sigurd the innkeeper. You must be hungry, unfortunately. With Fimble Winter going on, there's little food to spare. Okay, so there's a hunger mechanic. Um, so far, this is actually kind of cool, because when I go outside, there's a, there's a uh, line of sight blocker right there, so that's kind of cool that the inside is out or whatever. Insignia amulet doesn't do anything interesting. So here's a armorer, I guess. Decor is pretty cool. Oh, I the hammer time quote in the video. I thought that I did the hammer time quote twice, didn't I? Did I not? Does it do it three times? Is it the Griffin Rider, the Paladin, and Muradin? That's that's excessive. Wow. Okay, I'm guessing this is a hot spring. <laughs> kind of cool. I, I'm uh, I'm embarrassed that I missed so many on those quote videos. Sometimes it was just because I had made my list wrong. You know, like I made my list, and the Night Elf one, for example. There's one where the Priestess of the Moon says, "Oh, that was hilarious." Um, there's one where the Priestess of the Moon says, like, Crouch, Tiger, I sense a hidden dragon. And that was on my list of quotes to put in the video, 
and for whatever reason I just overlooked it and then once the video was made I was like well I can't insert it in there because because uh, it's really hard to stick something in the middle when I've timed everything else out it might offset everything so that was a shame I'm terrible but I just wondered what would happen if I attacked that child I wonder if I have a law system in place can I go in and see your leader or whatever? No? Okay. Anything at all. Come on, I'm dying here. I'm hungry. That's pretty cool. Frozen Lake. So that's the village. So I'm guessing maybe I need to go out and hunt something? <laughs> a bunch of bums around a barrel fire, it looks like. I'm thinking of maybe making like a I hate doing this but I think I might just after I'm done with all the quotes videos make like one more little video with you know all the ones that I missed or something I hate doing like little I wish that you could just like edit videos and keep the views and everything or like you know update them because it's a pain to have to make new ones, but anyway, I want to make sure that those get um, showcased. And I think I've missed somebody, at least one quote in every single quotes video, and so I guess maybe I'll have enough for some from each of the videos. So I don't know, maybe there's enough quality for one more video. Okay, there's a there's a starving buff that's happening right now. Yeah, my health's going down. Come on, there's got to be food somewhere. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I need that on. Sorry. It's okay. Where are you going? Away. Okay. I'll be back. I'll See be ya. Back. That's Mrs. Abelhawk, everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna starve to death. How anticlimactic. Oh, apparently the door is shut at night too, so I'm lost alone in the cold. This is <laughs> this is ironic because this is how Sigrid or whatever her name was found me, and then I just wander out in the cold and die. So, death in the fimble winter. Goodbye, cold world. Come on, not even a defeat condition. Uh, these are depressing how unfinished they are. Eat the guards. <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. You know what? I'm gonna I wanna try again one one more thing real quick because I know that I implemented some kind of a food. Oh maybe be hilarious if she's like, oh, there's not enough food, and I just steal it anyway. Is this what increases my attack speed? It must be. How weird. Die, Sigrid. Can't eat her. Can I eat the dog? That would be cool if I could eat the dog. I mean, that would kind of make sense, right? Uh-oh. Does it have full evasion? Oh, he's getting mad at me for attacking his dog. Or maybe he's just following it. I don't know. Hey, get out of here, kid. Can't eat the kid. Can I eat the horse? Can't reach it. Can I eat the guard? Will they fight me back? I want to see the king or Jarl or whatever the mythology is for the. <laughs> he just takes a drink while I'm beating on him. Yeah. Apparently, that's not done yet, but... Alright, green fountain. Oh, yeah, that's... I was just doing a test with, like, a healing effect, so nothing there. Hack and slash. Hmm. I wonder if this is just... Mana blast. To heck with burning their mana. How about their hit points? That sounds nice. Oh, it's like... It's like ch uh, Chain Lightning, but with Mana Burn's um, uh, lightning effect. That's pretty cool. Holy crap, that's a lot. I wonder... 
if I'll survive this. Like, long enough to actually level up and try something out. Oh, I should have tried that. This is definitely hack and slash, but I'm the one getting hacked and slashed. Come on, just level up once. Oh, of course the cooldowns. Oh, I, I also forgot that in the models video I didn't talk about how he stabs himself when he dies. Isn't that kind of weird? Like, he just straight up stabs himself. Austin's ability testing for the nine heroes. I must have some pretty cool ones. Alright, so... Dodge. Oh, okay, so this is... So for this map, all the agility heroes have dodge. All the intelligence heroes have... Oh, nothing, apparently. But yeah, see, she's... And then the strength heroes have... Oh, mounted heroes have the abilities to dash, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Dang sheep, messed up the effect. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, he's got Warhorn, which is basically like Roar. Fervor, which is like Frenzy. Intimidate, which is like uh, Howl of Terror. So Christian the Knight is all about like manipulating the battlefield, I guess. And then rebirth, basically, like uh, reincarnation. And then the rogue. Stealth, same thing. Subdue. It's basically like sleep, I think, because if they attack it, they'll wake up. And then poison strike, and then assassinate. So that's kind of based on the other one. And then we got Adela the Cleric. What are their voices like? I wonder. Whoops. Same as Jaina. Okay, so the only ones I changed was him and her. So. And the cleric has restoration, which is like holy light. Sanctuary, it's a cool icon. Uh, hmm, holy shield around target friendly and increased armor. Not sure what that one is. Maybe frost armor? And then smite of exhaustion is like slow, and then benediction. Oh, that's like stampede uh, with like orbs of light instead of um, uh, trans stampeding lizards, which is pretty funny. Uh, I want to see what sanctuary looks like though. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And then the ranger has marksmanship, so has a chance of dealing double damage. Oh yeah, what does aura of holiness do? That's basically like a Brilliance Aura, but it looks different. And then Pickpocket, huh? Oh, come on, are there any hostile units? I want to try Pickpocket, this sounds funny. Here we go, let's Pickpocket an Ogre Lord. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome! Got 50 gold pieces from him. Try some do. Oh wait, here, hey, you. Come on, you guys. Boof. You don't want to do that, Mafala. Yeah, so he's like subdued. That's pretty cool. So she's got marksmanship, which is crit critical strike chance basically, and then stun shot, flaming arrows, and oh, like a wolf pet thing. Cool. And then her ultimate is Volley. Hmm, interesting. Cool abilities. I swear I had one where there was like a mage who could summon like tomes though, but I don't know. This one is probably the best map I've ever made, and I'm gonna save that for next time because that deserves its own like playthrough. Um, basically I tried to remake WoW. Like there's flight paths and quests and leveling and cities and uh, it's really really good but I, I think I'll save that for later so you'll have to tune in next time for that one um, let's see moving forward 
Horse race. All right, I think that's enough for today. Let's just do horse race, and then if any of you guys want to play a game with me on Battle.net, let's play a game on Battle.net. What do you say? Okay, here's a horse race. So this one is just a simple one that I thought of one day, and I just kind of threw it together. I believe that it is finished, so for once, yeah, who knows. Okay, so we got the green blur. Oops. Okay, well, that's, I guess we're betting on the red horse. Place your own bets and see which one you think wins. All right, I'm not doing so good. Pull ahead of blue. So the doodads are actually randomized, so every time it's different. These are pretty cool camera angles, though. No, I don't want to be last. Come on. Boo. Dead last. Yeah, green is definitely going to win. Uh. Well, I wasn't last, but didn't come in. I think I made it so that you could even, like, place bets and, like, obviously it didn't matter because once it, the level's over, it's over, but it was kind of fun to just say, you know, if you bet 500 gold or whatever, then it's like, you won 1,000 gold at the end, or you lost it, or whatever. Okay, let's try this again. So... I'm gonna, let's see, which one, one last time was it green? Yeah, it was green. So let's pick green again. And then see if this is any different. I hope it's different because I it took forever to try and make the doodads random because I generate them and then the next time they'd be the exact same. It was really weird, but. I think I randomly give the horses bursts of speed too, or like slow them down randomly, so we'll see. Okay, this is definitely different. <laughs> this time the yellow one won by a landslide. Anyway, this is a fun little map. I had fun making that one. Ah, it's like real horse racing though. I, I want to try again and like actually win just to see what it's like to win. Let's try one more time. Win big imaginary money. <laughs> so the green blur, the red bolt, and then let's try blue this time. I don't know what it's called, but all right, last time. <laughs> I like the gunshot guy. Okay, we're going good. No, 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 no. I wonder if I programmed it to give a boost to the to one of the other horses that you didn't choose. Ooh, I wish I would have chosen green or yellow because they're close. Oh come on, blue. Okay, so statistically you have like a one in four chance of winning, right? So let's try just one more time and see what happens. Because this is kind of fun. Let's do the let's do the yellow one more one twice. Yellow flash. Go yellow flash. I wonder if he has a benefit because he kind of is off to the side and doesn't get crowded or something. I don't know. Okay. It looks like we might win, but I don't know. I wish it would stay on that camera more. That's pretty cool. It should also be like elevation and stuff. I should have varied the terrain a little bit more. Oh, okay. I think we're going to win. No. No, no, don't pull ahead green, please. Oh come on! I just want to—I just want to see what sound it plays besides the boom, 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 boom. Anyway, it's like real gambling makes you want to try just one more time or whatever. So, 
All right, who wants to play a game with me on Battle.net? Um, there is a... There's a game... Um, I played on my last stream called Civs. <sighs> to create a new one every single time. Anybody, whoever wants to play with me, you guys can log into Battle.net right now and we can have a game. It could be fun. Okay, good. Anyway, there's a game that I uh, made called Civs and it's like a Civilizations Age of Empires type game where you can like advance through ages and I made like a whole new technology tree and stuff. We could play that. Or we could play maybe one of um, one of the uh, scenarios that Blizzard has. Uh, Monolith's kind of dumb. This one isn't even really multiplayer because you're all separate and there's nothing you can even do to... Bomber Command's pretty fun. Let's do Azeroth Grand Prix. This could be really fun. This one's too big. This one's kind of fun if anybody's played Funny Bunny's Egg Hunt. Oh, I gotta make sure to include them in my other quotes video, though. I don't know what that is. This is my favorite map of all time that Blizzard gave out. Um, maybe in, like, October for Halloween I'll have a big Extreme Candy War event or something. War War would be fun, too. Um... Let's see here. Let's do let's just do a quick worm war game. And there's like room for twelve, so if anybody else wants to play, come on over. So it's called Abelhawk's game, it's Worm War. Yeah, come play with me. I'll just uh Let's wait a minute, see if anybody wants to join. Um, for now, though, I'm going to... Hey, we got somebody. I, I just realized I did public, so we may just get random people in who uh, may not even be watching the stream, but that's fine. Cool, cool. Um, I'm going to go use the restroom, and when I come back, we'll play some more and more with whoever might be in here with us. So, be right back. look like too many people are on, but that's okay. Oh, we got one more. Cool. Uh, I'm going to wait just like another minute or so, um, and we'll get started. Oh, no. Okay. For a second there, it wasn't showing the... 
Um, Showing the video, so I'm, gu I'm guessing I just need to warm it up or something before the stream. So, oh yeah, we can choose uh, the new colors. I like uh, emerald or wheat is pretty cool too. The wheat since it's already green. All right, uh, I know this is on the stream is on a slight delay, but. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to wait 10 more seconds, and then we're going to play. Anyone else? Going once, going twice. Let's play one more. If you guys haven't ever played uh, the, um, if you guys haven't ever played, uh, gosh, can't play and talk at the same time. Uh, Blizzard scenarios, you really should. They're really fun. Can I eat these? Yeah, they work too. This is basically Snake, as you can see on the mini map. are going to start overlapping pretty soon. Oh gosh. That's close. Remember how you win this? Oh, length 60 equals win. Okay, I'll see if I can manage to do that. Whoa, don't want to run into my own tail. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, a goo bomb, huh? Oh, these are actual abilities. Okay, um. Trap, yeah. No, you're good at this. Oh, crap. Blue's going to win. He's got some good, uh, he's got some good animations, Crypt Lord. Well done, Janowski. Well done. That was fun. Um, any other, I mean, I don't really have that many downloaded games, unfortunately. Um, so I don't have a ton to choose from, but... Let's do an Azeroth Grand Prix. Have you guys ever played? Have you guys ever played this? This is... It's weird that this works so well, but it's straight up like Mario Kart, basically. 
but with <laughs> a steam tank, a lich motorcycle, an orc cart, and Diablo riding an infernal contraption. My favorite unit regarding voices? Um, I think the funniest one is probably the Dryad. She's really funny. Um, but... As far as, like, coolness factor... The, the um... What's it called? The uh, Mountain King's really funny, too. I like him. I, I just like dwarves. Okay, that was kind of annoying. Um, I guess I should have clicked ban, but eh, if it comes back, I can ban. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's a good question. Canned bread? <laughs> I've never heard of canned bread. I mean, I've heard of canned bread as in like a thing, but I, is that like a map or something? Never heard of it. Alright, so we got Ice Cat in here. Anybody else want to play? I know, I don't I don't know what people I don't know what people get out of like spamming stuff like that. Like what the heck? I'm I'm playing Warcraft 3. Like <laughs> why do you come on and start get it. I really don't get people like that. Alright, we've got three. That's not too bad. Let's see if I can wait for like one more or something, but... And I'll give it like one more minute, see if we can get anybody else on. The campaign, huh? On hard. <laughs> <laughs> I could. Um, I'm definitely going to do it when Reforged comes out. Uh, I definitely will uh, stream me playing the campaign. Um, oh, Uther Party, huh? I, I, I think I played Uther Party a few times, but I didn't get into it that much. Anyway, I'll look it up. Canned Bread sounds pretty cool. Okay, cool. Same as last time. You want to choose your color, Janowsk? Maybe you're fine with red. All right, cool. Let's let's play this. This is fun. Anyway, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna stream me playing through the whole campaign of Reforged. Definitely. Um, as for the old one, maybe I actually heard that there's some weird glitches in it now, like heroes not having inventories. So it kind of makes me mad that the um, that the uh, you know, the creators are messing with the world editor and stuff and changing stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna go with... Hmm... I'm gonna, I, I think I always like the balanced orc cart. I forget how much I love this game. Ah, get out of my way, Diablo. <laughs> this is such a fun game. I love when people make stuff like this. This rocket is, if I'm not mistaken, basically a blue shell. Gotcha! Ooh, is that a, one of those mine ones or something? Even the race shape is pretty impressive on this. I'm, I like it. But I will follow. Sheep, huh? Is that like a sheep bomb, probably? I think it's like a red shell, if anybody's played Mario Kart. They get homes in on some of Alright. Actually, let's find out together what it does. <laughs> Am I against three Diablos? 
I get out of here? Oh crap. Not good. Alright, I gotta get a pit stop. There you go, cloak, huh? Is that like the ghost on my Oh wow, they even have the uh they even have the thunderbolt thing, that's hilarious. Ho oh, ho okay now I'm in the lead. Now's the best time to use these boosts. with whoever made this map, I'll tell you. But I could not do it. In the net, huh? thing that would make this better is if they had little like taunts and stuff that they said if you you know got passed or got hurt or so that's what made Mario Kart so fun with like you know toad I'm the best and stuff like that speaking of my wife um, picked up a Nintendo 64 from her um, from her home when she went visiting there a month ago or something, and we've been playing the. We've been teaching my daughter to play Super Mario 64, and I realized it came out in like 1997 when I was her age. So it's weird to see her playing it again. But we've been playing Mario Kart together, and 64 was a pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome system. Is that all you got, you guys? Come on, I'm gonna win by landslide here. I guess if somebody gets a, mi a missile, it might do something, but yeah, I'm just, you know, out of ammo, okay, oh, there's the missile, oh crap, I'm so damaged, I'm losing, oh, I can just, there we go, we're good now. Oh crap though, I'm so slow. No, I'm gonna die. Okay, let's see if this fire thing can, can help me out here. No! Okay, haha, <laughs> stole the win. I haven't died, but um, I think a gyrocopter comes and drops you just like that little, uh, haha, Able Hawk is first. Um, I think a gyrocopter comes and drops you back on the track, just like that Lakitu character on uh, Mario Kart, so that's pretty funny. I think there's even like a winner ceremony on this or something. It's kind of interesting. Oh, I can look around now and watch the race, that's fun. Oh, he's fast. Alright, now there's the award ceremony. And in other news, the Azeroth Grand Prix is finally concluded. Orcs rule! Hey, those are some quotes if you're familiar with those videos. That was fun. Have I ever thought of making a quality full custom campaign? Yes, I have. I don't know. Maybe once Reforged comes out, maybe I'll give it a try. Who knows? That could be really fun. 
Um, I mean, obviously, it'd be my dream to have something like that. Uh, but I don't know. I've never had enough, like, time or patience, so... I don't know. Definitely be interesting and worth a try. So who knows? Once Reforged comes around, or if I come up with a good idea, maybe I will come up with one. I'd also need to come up with a story. I feel like that's the hard part. I, I could remake something, you know? If I could... If I could remake, like, a... Uh, a familiar story or something that could be pretty fun. All right, I don't know if you guys have ever played Bomber Command. This is a little bit clo uh, of a longer game, but I think it could be pretty fun. All right, let's play Bomber Command for anybody who else wants to join. I don't know if anybody else has gotten on the stream yet, but uh, feel free to join this. I'm just going to wait a couple minutes. This one has less slots, too, so hopefully we can get an even team. This one has amazing triggers. I, man, I haven't played these for years, but this is definitely really fun. Um, basically, you just set, uh, like, rally points or something, and the um, it just spawns them constantly, and they go and drop a bomb on the location and stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, uh, I mean, we're even, so two on two. Might as well start. I never understood why they allow you to cancel, but like right before it goes or whatever, because I'd always sometimes like s troll people by doing that. Okay. So, let's see if I remember how to play this. Okay. Yeah, so it sends those little guys, and then we have these as the citizen houses that provide you with valuable income, huh? Okay. Once we explore, we should be able to find those. All right, cool. Let's start working on those towers. Um, we got teleportation to target a friendly structure. And then we got like missile sites. Okay. All right, I'm probably not gonna remember all of these, but let's see, cluster one, huh? Okay, let's see, let's start with A heavy bomber. All right, let's get some bomber support on bombing these uh, this gate here. Oh, what abilities do I got? Got repair, far sight, defensive matrix. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna do defensive matrix. Man, that is a crap load of hit points. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and bomb that tower. But this time I'm going to try and put a defensive matrix on one of them. Yeah, see they like fly up like, man, that's, that's some quality... Uh, all right, what do we got? We got a heavy bomber. All right, let's try those. For now. I'm so bad at multitasking. I'm probably gonna make us lose. Oh man, they've already broken through. Infantry tower, armored enemy. Work complete. Work complete. Okay, I'm going to build another airport. Just can get some extra firepower in here. 
Marine dropper, that could be pretty cool. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's all three do marine droppers, maybe. This ice cat. I think when he mentioned that the overlay got messed up, I think what happened is, like, the same hotkey for, uh, um, creating a new, um, group, like, control one or whatever, that's how I changed my overlay, so it could be a problem. Hopefully it's working now, though. Boy, that's going to be really tough right there. from the other side, huh? Crap, 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 not the best place. Yeah, we 
got one of them. some cluster bombers. the ultimate ability. It's so much fun. It's straight up like a nuclear launch from StarCraft. <laughs> Is that a Hydra? That's funny. Whoa, those are sweet, like, multi-cluster bombers there. to multitask. Who definitely want to read research economics. stealth units in here.
you so far, so good there. Sorry if this isn't as fun for you guys to watch, but it's fun for me to play with you guys, so. Wait, are the are the other teams even did the other teams leave or something? Huh. Weird. Yeah, they're still attacking, I just realized, so. Here, keep moving forward then if they Okay, there they are up here. Once we destroy all their uh, research buildings and stuff, it's probably not going to be much longer. This effect right here, this is amazing. I wish I could do effects like that on Warcraft 3 because that's amazing right there. Oh, red cape up. Defensive matrix before you go. There we go. Yeah, should have upgraded my defensive matrix first. Yeah, they're not getting through anywhere close to there. All right, 
Let's see how this works. Come on, live. Do it. Oh no, it's not gonna make it. Come on, just drop the missile, drop the missile, drop the missile, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh, come on. Dang it. Seriously, a lot to macro. Okay, there's another nuke. Um, I think just like right here will work best. Alright, looks like we need some more marine droppers, so we'll infiltrate. It's right here, maybe. Oh, not what I meant to do. We need... streaming right <laughs> now. Um, so we got this group here. Oh, where was that explosion? Dang, should have pinged it or whatever. All right, I'm going to make a clear path through here. So I really want to see that nuclear explosion. Okay, so moving through here. Got rid of that one. Giant cluster bombers here. All right, let's go ahead and. All right, cool. That's taken care of. Might as well just take care of some of those off to the side. But in the meanwhile, here comes our nuclear missile. And these are powerful. And here's a warp gate for all those. Alright, come on. Come on, Bessie. Oh. <laughs> the nuke, we gotta stop it. Okay, come on. Launch it, launch it. Launch it, dang it. Ugh. Okay, oh no, no, no. That one made it through. It's amazing that they can do that. Okay, well we got rid of those again, but gosh dang it, this is definitely harder to Okay, you know what? Do I got enough? No, I don't got enough for an airport. Um, incendiary bomber shields. I can just... Oh boy, another nuke from them, eh? Okay, if we can take down their airports, that would be crazy powerful. Honestly, it doesn't seem that hard to defend, really. I wonder why he nuked three... Units. I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad for you though, Ice Cat. If, if that's what your name is. No, Dustin, yeah. Because your ally's gone. So that's a shame. It'd be fun to play this like four on four with people who, I don't know, actually know what they're doing because I'm really bad at multitasking and stuff. see here what else do we got I haven't looked at some of our newest ones fighters 
Oh wow, I'm running low on gold here. Oh, they cost a lot, don't they? You're holding out pretty well on your own, Dustin. I commend you for that. What I'm trying to do, though, is... Hmm, let's see here. Oh boy, get it. Oh, okay, good, we got it. Anything over here, I wonder? Exploded. Oh, over there, nice. All right. Oh, man, this is a really fun map. I it's got a completely different strategy, obviously. Okay, you know what? Let's just drop them right here. Oh, okay, so is it, is it giving you, okay, so Ice Cat took control of both of them, I don't know, I don't know how this works. Hi. This is human. Yep. Doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, lost a fort there. Okay, I need to break in right there. So I think it's two on one, but then again, uh, Ice Cat, you can look at my uh, screen. <laughs> <laughs> Got a guy on top of that uh, um, crenellation or whatever it's called. That's pretty funny. Oh, sorry. Here we go. 
No, I died though. Didn't see that coming. are so stressful. He's caught on. <laughs> Cluster bomb those. Oh, you made it through. Nice. Good game. Whew. Good game indeed. Man, what a game. That is probably the most creative uh, game I've seen. At least that like Blizzard released and stuff. I, the with the um, with the Frozen Throne scenarios, it's kind of interesting because. You know, in Reign of Chaos, they had the two. They had War Chasers, which was kind of an RPG sort of thing. And then they had... Uh-oh. Frozen up here. Um, <coughs> hopefully you can still hear me. Anyway, and then they also had, like, the, the War Sheep or Death Sheep or whatever. And that was uh, probably just a test. You know, they were just kind of just messing around with that. But Frozen Throne, they have a lot of fun scenarios, and I'm wondering if those were, I should probably look this up, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were, like, um, you know, uh, user submission or whatever. Uh, there we go. Um, because, you know, they have things like so-and-so's tower defense or whatever, and they have varying degrees of quality. Obviously, they had lots of Blizzard employees, but... That's one thing I would like to ask um, David David Freed um, if he were on because he would know uh, 
he would know like where these scenarios come from. But like, see, Blizzard's tower defense, obviously a Blizzard employee made, but like, I wonder why it doesn't say, like, I wonder why it doesn't say author. Anyway, this is probably Blizzard because it's got some like professional voicing stuff. I'm thinking that this was because you can download off their site, but I, I might be wrong. More and more sounds like it. But yeah, like, see, Skibby's castle tower defense, and I mean, it's like got the Blizzard seal on it, but I don't know what this is all about. Looks like some kind of deviant art thing from the 2000s or whatever. Oh, official Blizzard version of the popular tower defense. Okay, so yeah, it must have been based on the actual Skibby's tower defense, and then Blizzard made some, I don't know, made some changes to it or something like that, so. Anyway, I think that is good for tonight. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today on Able Talk. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun to have this be public uh, every. Maybe this is why I was had my forehead and everything else cut off. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think it'll be. I think it's a good move to make it public. Uh, like it was a. In the beginning, it was kind of fun to just be members only, but where there's not that many members, I think it's more fun to just hang out with more of you guys. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching tonight. Uh, I'm going to start on the neutral, uh, Nagas and Neutrals quotes video pretty soon, so you'll be seeing that soon from me. Other than that, uh, yeah, I, I'll think about maybe it could be fun for me to get into classic WoW again, and I don't know, maybe there's some connections to Warcraft 3 I could look into, who knows. Um, anyway, if you guys have any suggestions for content that you guys want me to do after quotes, I'm all ears. It was kind of hard to think of the quotes video uh, in the first place. Um, I'm glad I did. They've, they've brought a lot of new viewers and a lot of cool content for me to research about Warcraft 3, but I don't know what to do next, so if you guys have ideas, let me know. I will see you guys later. Have a good night.